this good run of form was extended thanks to a goal from Rowan Laberde. After the victory Geisley joint manager Russ O'Neill said, This was a really difficult game, we knew it would be tough but I'm delighted and we have gained a really good result. Before the game X Leeds United youngster Lewis Walters was confirmed as a new signing for Geisley and he made his debut up front for the side. The Lions took the lead with just 10 minutes on the clock, when a short back pass by Martin Riley was picked up by Laberde who took a touch, rounded the keeper and placed the ball into the empty net. Alfrighton started to make an impact in this game when XFC Halifax Town forward Tom Denton saw his header well saved by Joe Green. While the hosts had chances, Geisley were controlling the tempo of the game and nearly doubled their lead when Walters crossed to LeBird but Alfrighton keeper Sam Ramsbottom made a fine save to keep it the effort out. Alex Ray Harvey was making his first start of the season and impressed, with him almost making it 2-0 after a fine passing move found the midfielder who just didn't get enough power on his effort. Harry Middleton was sent off, for a lunge on Kingsley James, the straight red saw guys we have a man and goal advantage and they saw the game out. Harrogate Town remained top of the National League, fighting back from a goal down to edge out Havant. Simon Weaver's side began sloppily and just six minutes were on the clock when they found themselves behind. Visiting left-winger Josh Huggins nodded in field for the unmarked Nick Kabamba who drove towards the Harrogate box and picked out the bottom corner with a low strike. Town were, however, back on terms a little over five minutes later. Noel Easley's corner from the right was cleared, but Liam Agnew sent the ball straight back to the winger who curled a delightful cross into the area where Callum Howe rose highest and powered home a header. A fast start to the second period then saw the hosts take charge of proceedings. George Thompson's 52nd minute corner from the right sparked a scramble in the Havant six-yard box and the ball eventually fell for Dominic Knowles to force home at the back post. Five minutes later, Knowles danced past the Hawks defender and into the box before pulling back from the right towards the penalty spot where the waiting Jack Muldoon squeezed a shot through goalkeeper Ryan Young. Town gifted their visitors away back into the contest when Lloyd Carey lost possession inside his own box and the ball broke for Kabamba to lift delicately over James Belshaw, but Weaver's men held on for a third win on the spin, extending their unbeaten start into a tenth game. FC Halifax Town are fifth in the National League after a 1-1 draw with promotion rivals Leighton Orient at the Shea. Dale Southwell's penalty on 65 minutes looked to have won it for Town, but the O's leveled in the 91st minute through James Allaby to take third spot, which could have been Town's Bradford Park Avenue stayed third in National League North despite conceding five goals on the road for the first time since August 2016. Mark Bauer's men were beaten 5-3 at Chester, who secured only their second win of the season courtesy of Dan Mooney and Anthony Dudley braces, as well as a Craig Mayan effort. Replies from Ben McKenna, Jake Beasley and Ollie Johnson had the visitors level early in the second half, but poor defensive play would prove Avenue's downfall. FA Cup, Evo Stick Fairsley Celtic East past host Skisborough Town 4-0 in the FA Cup first qualifying round on Saturday, writes Richard Byram, a brace from former Leeds United youngster Nathan Turner, 42 and 46, plus late efforts from Luke Parkin, 83, another ex-wife, and Isaac A. Baldwin, 90, made it a profitable trip for the visitors. Nairsborough Town recovered from the shock of falling behind in the second minute to Mark Buckin's goal to thrash visiting Kendall Town 7-3 at the Mance. Rob Worrell, 18, got the town equalizer and three more goals followed quickly from Brad Walker, 21, Nick Black, 25, and Josh Garbett, 27, Brad Carroll, 50, pulled one back for the Evo Stick West Division outfit before Greg Anderson, 53, restored Nairborough's three-goal advantage. Black, 60, and Garbett, 63, added gloss for the NCE Premier side, before Buckin, 75, bagged a late consolation for town. Prickly Athletic won their eagerly awaited South Yorkshire Derby tie at Melt B Main 2-1 in front of 500 people. Tyler Walton's 21st-minute penalty and a Rich Patterson effort, 74, sent the Blues through to the next round. 
but fellow Evo Stickies Tadcaster Albion went out after a 3-1 defeat at Bamber Bridge, who led 3-0 at the break, Joe Lumsden replying on the hour for the Brewers. Garforth Town lost 5-1 at South Shields and Whitby Town strip up the coast to Whitley Bandit in a 1-0 defeat. Prolific striker James Walshaw's equaliser earned Steve Kittrick Scarborough Athletic a 1-1 draw at Marine and the sides will replay tomorrow evening at Ashburn Road. In the Evo Stick East Division, Brighouse Town are up to third after a 3-1 home win against Loughborough. Aaron Martin, 29, Thomas Hay, 44, and Thomas Nicholson, 47, on target for town. Newly promoted Pontefract Collieries continued their good start to the campaign with a 2-0 home success against Stocksbridge Park Steels. Michael Dunn, 5, and Eli Hay, 80, with the goals for calls who are 6th in the table a point off the top 3, NCE League Yorkshire amateur missed out on the chance to go top of the Premier Division when a 90th minute Ryan Bassey goal earned Thackley a 2-2 draw at Bracken Edge, writes Richard Byram, with leaders Hemsworth MW losing 1-0 at home to Bar in town, Amherst would have gone top if they had managed to hold on. Bryce Tiani, 45, had given the hosts the lead, but James Nago, 67, leveled. Matthew Dempsey, 78, put Amherst back in front before Bosey's dramatic intervention. At the other end of the table, bottom side Harrogate Railway Athletic crashed 3-0 at home to improving Penny Stone Church, while fellow strugglers Buell went down 4-2 at home to Eccles Hill United, despite taking a first-minute lead through Oliver Smith. Athersley Rec climbed off the bottom with a 2-1 win at Bridlington Town, Adam White 33, and Leaguer side 70, for the visitors, Terence Barwick 62, for Brid, Liversedge slipped to 6th in the table after a 4-1 loss at Hall Road Rangers. Mitchell Hamilton, 49, cancelled out Leon Smith's 43rd minute effort before three goals in the last seven minutes wanted for Rangers. In Division 1, Nostal MW kept up the pressure on leaders Winterton Rangers, who won 8-1 at Rossington, Maine, with a 3-2 home win over Allerton Town. Miners, in a rich seam of form this season, saw Joseph Thornton, too, and Adam Hayton find the net. Selby Town trailed 3-0 at halftime against visitors Hallam, before a late Sam Cable double restored some pride for the Robins, while three goals in five second half minutes set up Glass Hot and Welfare's 3-2 derby triumph over rivals AFC Emily. Where's Browbridge are third after a 2-1 success at Shirebrook Town, while Campion climbed to fifth with a 4-2 win at Swallownest. 